Hey SUNY Oswego, my name is Savannah Malerva and I'm a current Compass Navigator with Career Services and today we're going to take a look at the Hire Oz internship search and how exactly a navigator would go about doing that with you. So I am on Oswego to EDU slash Career Services starting on our main page to guide you fully through this process of my video. So you scroll down on the main Career Services page and go to our quick links and click online resources. And after you click on online resources, look, Hire Oz by Handshake right on the top, that first link. So if you click on that and then go, you can go to your student login. If you're an employer, you can go to your employer login. But most of the time, you guys are going to be students doing this kind of thing. So I click on students, log in with my Oswego credentials, and then my stuff is saved in Google. So that's kind of fun. So I log in. And then it should lead you to this screen unless you're setting up an account for the first time. If you're setting up an account for the first time, it may lead you through some setup options with some bubbles that kind of go down for a bit. Go through all those setup options, then it will lead you to this screen here. So one of the things I like to do, instead of using this search bar up here on the top of the screen, is you click jobs right on the top in that top menu. So if you go to jobs, you can see that we have two search bars and we kind of have a little bit more to work with here. So what I like to do is start with the filters right here on the screen and you click on filters and say, I'm searching for, I'm currently a child education major, but we're gonna do this hypothetically as like someone looking for something in like the psych field or human development field. Cause I know we have a lot of the human development people who needs internships to graduate. So let's go about that route. So if I click on internship, when I scroll down in here and say my, my major would automatically pop up, but we're gonna type in human development in this case. And click on that. Perfect. Human development. So it says there are 356 jobs found, starting very broad as an internship and in human development. So if I click on see jobs, I can see that the 356 opportunities pop up over here. So what you can do is it says intern and copywriting. That's not exactly probably what you'd be looking for. So what you want to do is on the side, on the left side, you can scroll down and take a look through what kinds of internships they have. For example, say you want to go into like a, just for example, let's just throw out this TA job with Trinity Catholic School. So if you take a look at this TA, this TA position, you can scroll and take a look, like there's part-time internship, it tells you the dates, it tells you the location, so it's in Oswego. So if you wanted to stay local, you can do that. It is an unpaid internship, but one thing I always like to note is you can get paid and get credit at the same time. Excel always stresses that because it's so important to know you can do both. Like it's a great opportunity if you get that opportunity. And then the job was posted January 31st. So if you scroll down, you see applications close on June 24th. One thing about Hire Oz that you want to know is that if you have all four of these check marks, it means that you are the most optimal for that position. So basically, like if you have your major GPA school year US work authorization, you're set to go. You have all four check marks and they recommend that you match with this position with the program. So they like to do that. So if you scroll down, you can kind of see like things that they're looking for and everything along those lines. Now, I did an extremely broad search. Well, let's say I really like this TA position and I kind of want to save it. So what you can do is you can click this little star right here and you click the little star and then say I come back to the jobs page later on, you see this my favorite jobs right above the star, that'll always be there. So if you click on my favorite jobs, it'll show you things like I recently favorited this digital content strategist for a friend um, and then the TA's position we were just looking at before. So now, excuse me, if we wanna go back to filters 
and take a look, we can start to kind of let's make it make it more a specific search. So let's do that right now. So what you can do is I don't know what that is. We can do Oswego and why say I want to stay around the Oswego area. And then it says one job found. So sometimes you gotta run your search just a little bit just to find more what you're looking for. So if you click see jobs, it brings up that TA position, but also I'll, I know why, because I clicked on my favorite jobs and didn't unclick it. So if we unclick my favorite jobs, we are now searching for human development internships within 50 miles of Oswego, New York. You see how it says within 50, it says 50 miles right there. You can also make that smaller. Let's say we want to make it 30 miles because I can't go further than Syracuse. So if we take a look on the right here, you could take a look at the position. So say I want to look at this play facilitator position for Children's Museum. You click on that position and then in this middle box right here on the right, you can scroll down. It gives you a full overview of the position and even gives you a little description of the company and like who they are like a non-for-profit company with like a small company with like one to 10 employees according to this and things along those lines. Nothing too complicated. Um, so yeah, that is my little tour of your Hire Oz job search. I hope this was helpful and don't be afraid to make an appointment with a navigator with, through our You Can Book Me or if we're back in person, you can come back in person if you have any questions. Thank you.